the spider web that of interconnection and how mm. every single thing at the subatomic level is affecting you. It's affecting your vibrations, affecting your frequency. And based on that quantum dance, you are accessing what that represents to you. That's where mm. the memory comes in, right? Because that is already stored, but it also is being accessed by you because of where you're tapping into, you see? So it kind of becomes like you are deciding exactly what memory to access subconsciously. Mm, I love that. And if these are memories that we's, we've experienced in the past, then we have that quantum entanglement to that, that momentary time when it was experienced. But it also sometimes it feels like we're experiencing it in the moment, which is why it can be so visceral, right? Exactly. Because you are right. Because the experience, right? Then it becomes your senses, your feeling, your thought. So what you feel. Mm. So that is where your multidimensionality kicks in and you, so you can have the same memory can be passed to somebody else and they may pick up a whole different, um, you know, attributes, right? For them to feel or for them to think or for them to sense. So it becomes a hologram. The memory becomes a hologram and then you choose which vantage point you want to access that at. Interesting. I love that. Do you feel it's important with memories that no longer serve us? You know, we, we definitely hold on to them for a reason. And maybe we, it's for us to be able to experience them later and to move through them. Um, but do you feel that there's a point maybe where it's important to actually decouple that, that entanglement uh, when they're no longer serving us, when they're maybe causing us to block or they're keeping us from evolving or moving forward? Yeah, you know, that's where the boundary comes in, right? So in a way, it kind of is interesting because on one hand, you don't want to feel it, right? Because it doesn't feel good, let's say. But on the other hand, it is a gauge for you to see that how far do you want somebody else to push you? Mm. I like that. Right? So yeah. then it becomes another quantum. That's where the discernment comes, right? Like how, how long do you want to be in that groundhog day, right? Like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's, and that's so beautiful. And um, I, I genuinely feel like from, from my heart that, you know, myself and everyone are, are creator beings and our, our greatest sense of being able to create is through the choice of the now moment. And so when we make a choice that create, that just creates a reality, it creates an opportunity, it creates a way for us to learn about ourselves. And the more conscious and intentional we can become behind those choices, the greater, uh, the greater we can move through the reality at maybe either an exponential pace or a more purposeful pace. Um, um, but it keeps us maybe from being in that groundhog day as you're talking about. 100%, 100%. And that is exactly the key, by the way, because what happens when you are, you can consciously sub uh, reprogram your subconscious. That's what I say. Nice. Right. I know it sounds like a, what are you saying? But mm -hmm. yes, because you know, when you're conscious already, you're doing something different. Yes. Mm. I love that. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so it's very interesting. And that, and that's the thing that I have learned something that like, I'm like, wow. And, and, and the good thing is when you learn, right, then you put the light on it or you reveal yourself something that was hidden to you. And when you reveal it to yourself, then you have changed the charge on it. Mm. Interesting. Mm. And that would be in many ways kind of transmutation. Yes. Yes. Okay. I love exactly. that. I love that. Because, yeah, when we, it's, when we feel emotions, it does, because especially when it can be so visceral like that, it's, it's hard to, and we embody it almost, it's hard to remind, for me, it's sometimes hard for me to remind myself that it is, in, it is energy. And because it's energy, we have that opportunity to transmute it. And so sometimes it feels like it can be overwhelming and you can get stuck in it and, and unintentionally or unconsciously, then we do embody it and then we get stuck in it. But I love what you're bringing forward is, is like, hey, we can, we can transmute it. We are, we are reality generators in that sense. Exactly. And then remember you mentioned friction, right? So you need the friction. You need the learning. You need the pain, right? You need the, um, 
you know, you need the transmutation. But all of that are the attributes of coming home mm. <laughs> to yourself. Mm.